Hello everyone, I'm Samia Sherman Sara and today I'm going to show you how to convert a C code to an MIPS code. Before starting that, I'd like to thank my friends Nova Sen, Shabab and Snapfu Zara Proma who have helped me in making the video. So here's the C code of the problem that we are going to convert it to MIPS, which is GCD, the greatest common divisor. And to convert it to MIPS, we'll have to open the Mars simulator. That I'm using so let's just open a new file which is file new and as you can see a new file has been created first of all we'll have to save this file control s and then name it whatever you want I'll name it gcd so here's the file that I'm going to work on in C code as we can see that first task is taking inputs and will do the same in MIPS. So first of all, we will store those two values that we're going to find GCD of. And we'll store those values in register A0 and A1 because these registers are used for sending as parameters, sending values to parameters. So I'll write add I, which is add immediate, register A0 and then zero and then one. This line means I'll be adding 1 to the value stored in 0 register which is 0 and then storing it to the register A0. And actually I'm storing the value 1 that I'm going to send as parameter. And uh, similarly I'll say store the second value which is 4. So this line means I'm storing 4 in the A1 register. So I have my two parameters ready. So here as we can see the second task is function calling. So we'll call the function here which is gcd and for function calling we'll use this chal instruction. Chal means jump and link. So jump to the function which is gcd that I'm going to write later and link to the immediate next address. We have a register called RA which stores the value of this address. So in this address, we will write something later. So first, let's write GCD. This is a label. When this shell function is called GCD means the function will now go to GCD label and what we are going to do here is write these conditions. So the first condition is a greater than b, then a less than b, and the last one is a is equal to b. So we'll start with the last one, which is if the two numbers are equal. So what we are going to do is b equal branch equal a0 comma a1 done. This line means if A0 and A1 are equal, we will jump to the um, label done. And if they are not, then we'll go to the next line, which is BGE, which means branch greater than A0 greater than A1. Then we'll jump to the function, anything we want to name, AGB. And even if this doesn't work, then this is the else one, else function, which is subtract So this line means subtracting A0 from A1 and storing it to A1. Uh, look carefully, the, these are the three conditions that we have done in SQL. Seems very small, but these are working very efficiently. And actually, this branch equal and BG are not the, not, not just the actual, actual codes or actual instructions. These instructions have three other instructions that we are not showing right now. So, um, this first condition is if they are equal, then we'll jump to the done label. The second one is if a0, the first number is greater than the a1, we will jump to the to another label which is agb. And if none of these conditions are true, then 
we will subtract a1 from the a0 and then store it to a1 which means either way we are just subtracting so we're done with this conditions and then the this is a recursive function so we will jump back to the gcd which is the function that we've written so now the agb label we are going to write here what we are going to do in agb um, in agb if a is greater than a1 what we are going to do is we are going to subtract a1 from a0 and store it to a0 so we'll use sub function a0 then zero. so this line means we'll subtract a1 from a0 and then store it to a0 and then we're done and then we'll call the gcd label again as it is a recursive function then we'll write what we'll do in done so here's the done label what we are going to do is done means a0 and a1 are equal which means we don't need to subtract anymore so what we are going to do is add b0 to 0 and 0 this line means we are storing a0 in the register b0 why in the v0 because v0 register actually returns the values of functions so when we are writing return a in c code we are actually returning the values from register v0 so we are done and then we we will jump to jump r a this r a is the register that stores the value of this address when we called jal and gcd function was called this ra register stored the value of the immediate next address what we are going to do here is jump answer so here i'm going to write another label which is answer so we have converted this entire c code into mips so let's just run it and see if we are right or not so run assemble so here it is um, we have used the register a0 you can see its value is 0 here then a1 is also 0 here and v0 is also 0 the numbers that we used is 1 and 4 you can see that uh, a0 has now 1 and then 4 we, uh, we will see that after running um, this button runs the entire code at once and this using this button we can uh, run each step at a time and see what actually is happening so I'll use this run each run one at a time so after running for the first time you can see this a0 has become green and a0 has the value 1 which means the first line that we executed was storing 1 in the register a0 so we'll click for the second time and we can see a1 has the value a4 so we have successfully stored these two lines here's the line 3 jar gcd it will call the function gcd so we can see that our a has this something address so as i said jar function calls the function jumps to the label and then links and which means storing the next address and you can see that our a register has the address of the immediate next register immediate next command so after that we will run it again you can see the b greater branch greater equal a0 a1 which means a0 you will check uh, whether they are greater or not then nothing has changed again now we can see is a t um, we haven't used this register but still it has come is that's because um, b g is a the the brand b equal or branch greater than equal these instructions that we are using are not just unique instructions they have multiple instructions that we are not writing 
so after that we'll go to the subtract this and uh, go a1 is equal to 3 which means the subtraction has been done because the second value was greater than the first one so which was 4 and 4 uh, has now become 3 we have subtracted now it has gone back to the function gcd again and then they are checking these fun, uh, conditions again and now we can see that a1 has become 2 now it is decreasing so again run this and we can see a1 is 1 now now a0 is 1 and even a1 is 1 so let's run it again and b equal branch equal a0 a1 so a0 and a1 are equal so we are now done so we have now gone to this command which is add b0 0 a0 which means we are storing the value of a0 which is 1 in the register b0 see uh, the value of b0 is still 0 and when i'll flip this it will become 1 so here we can see this value of v0 has become 1 now so that's all for today we can we have now seen how to code an mits so thank you for watching